In the previous lessons, we covered the very basic syntax that we need to actually get started with typing in Python. But finally, we can get started with one of the most important parts of it, which is the if else statement. So let's get started immediately with our first program. And the first thing that's going to happen is that we're going to take a user input, which is going to prompt the user to enter some text. And we want this program to actually count how many characters the user has been typing. So we're going to create a variable called total characters, and that's going to equal the length of the user input. Now, the first thing we want to tell the user is how many characters they printed. And this is going to also include spaces. So here we're going to go ahead and type in total characters is going to have total characters. So just to test it out, we can go ahead and type in something like that. And it's going to say we wrote 27 characters. But now we want some motivation. We want some feedback for how much we type. So this is a good opportunity to introduce the if statement. So here we're going to check if the total characters are less than or equal to 10, then we want to tell the user, you did not write that much. And I of course have to add quotation marks here, but we also want to add some other conditions. So to do this, we can add else if, which in Python is abbreviated to L if. So L if the total characters are more than 10, but less than or equal to 30, we can go ahead and print, ah, you have potential in typing. And we're just going to add one more. So L if the total character length is more than 30, we're going to write, you should consider becoming a writer. And one thing you might have noted immediately is that we had to indent this for the line to be registered. So right now we have the condition, which is the if, followed by an indent. And this literally can be one space. What's important is that it is indented. And conventionally, you just have a tab because it looks nice, it's clean, and you can tell that this is the block of code that belongs to this if statement over here. And the indentation also tells us that we can add more lines on the same block. In other programming languages, you're going to have curly brackets like that, and you're going to write whatever you want inside the curly brackets. In Python, of course, we do not have any curly brackets for that kind of use, so we just have to rely on indentation. Everything that's indented on the same line will be considered part of the same block. But let's go ahead and run this program. Now we can go ahead and say, what a wonderful day it is today. And it's going to tell us we should consider being a writer because first it went ahead and checked, is this true? Is it less than 10 characters? And that was false. It checked whether it was between 10 and 30 characters and that was also false. Then it checked whether the total character length was more than 30, which was true, which means we get this statement executed and these ones are ignored. Now we can also type something simple such as say hello to me. And it's going to be 16 characters. And we're going to get this statement executed because it's between 10 and 30 characters. So that's scenario number one, where we can use if and else statements. Now let's go ahead and create the second example that actually demonstrates the else example. So here we're going to go ahead and type in weather is going to be sunny. Let's pretend we have some data from the weather forecast and right now the weather is sunny. So what we're going to do is check if the weather is sunny. We're going to print nice weather today. L if the weather is equal to normal we're going to print what boring weather ellipses. And finally, we have the else keyword. So no matter what happens, if both of these fail, this is going to be executed. There's no condition for this one. It's just the last resort of the else if statement. We can type in print the weather sucks because anything that's not sunny is terrible weather. So of course we're going to get nice weather today because we defined the weather to be sunny. We can also define the weather to be normal and it's going to go to what boring weather because that is the second condition. But if we say apple instead of any weather, it's going to go all the way to the bottom and say the weather sucks. So that just about covers what you need to know about if and else. In the next video, we're going to be going over how we can create loops in Python.